Okay, hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the button. And we're going to start off by just looking at how the button physically is connected and operates. Uh, let me give you a quick rundown of what we've got. We're not actually using the Arduino for anything right now other than a power supply. The black, uh, the black jumper is connected to ground and the red jumper is connected to 5 volts kind of hard to tell that from here I guess but yeah the the, the red red line is definitely connected to um, 5 volts so uh, this is what we want and I can tell you that you need to be careful because earlier I was playing around with this and uh, I decided to see exactly what would happen um, if I connected 5 volts directly to the LED without going through the resistor. This is not coming off an output pin. This is just coming from the the power power supply here from the 5 volt out there. And uh yeah, the the top physically blew off of the LED. It cracked and flew at me. <laughs> and you know, give a little it gave a little quick burst of flame and smoke and exploded. So yeah, they they will actually explode. So, um, but if we connect our hot to this side of the resistor, you can see that the green LED lights up. It's going through, uh, through ground, through the resistor, through the uh, LED, through the resistor, and then back to the five volt source here. So that works. Um, and you'll see if I go on this side of the switch, it also lights up. But if I go on this side of the switch, it does not light up. So whenever the button is not depressed, then from here, from this side of the button to this side of the button is open. But whenever we hit the button, it makes a physical contact between this side and this side, and the circuit is completed, as you can see here. So that's how it physically works. Um, pretty simple, right? But what we're going to do now is we're going to wire the button up to be used as a digital digital read pen, as an input to the Arduino. And we'll wire the LED up as a digital output from the Arduino on a different pen, of course, it would have to be. And uh, when we press the button, we'll be looking for... Um, the LED to light up. We're going to do that in code. So let's go ahead and wire up the switch first. And by the way, this is what the bottom side of these little buttons look like. Uh, these are very common buttons. These are actually used in a lot of commercial products. Um, you can buy bags of these buttons super cheap on eBay and or you know electronic supply houses wherever. I have a bag. This is probably a bag of a hundred of them here. So, pretty handy little thing to keep around. Okay, now this is the part that is going to get a little squirrely if you're not used to uh, using buttons at all. So, whenever you attach a button to an Arduino pin, um, well, one way you could do it, and I'll represent a button like this. One way you could do it is if you have, say, your button. Right, these are two, the two contacts of the button here and here. And then let's say this is the part up top. When you press on it, it connects these two points, right? So uh, one way we could possibly do it is to have this leg connected to 5 volts and then this leg connected directly to an input pin. And then that way, um, we just read this pin. If the voltage is zero, if the voltage is zero on the pin, then that means that this button is not depressed. And if the voltage is five, then that means, or high, then that means that the button is pressed down. The only problem is um, when there's nothing connected to an Arduino input, um, you don't really know what is going to be on this uh, input pin. It, it, it has no reference at all. So um, you either have to pull the pin high or pull the pin low when there's no input to it. One or the other. Um, 
I will link a video down below. I'm not an engineer. I, I've seen really good videos explaining this. Uh, so I'm going to put a link to a video down below that will explain pull up or pull down resistors much better than I could. But let me describe to you what we're going to do about it here. All right. So let me redraw. I'm going to redraw my button situation again. And here's one side. Here's the other, just like last time. And uh, what we're going to do in this case is we're still going to go to plus 5 volts on one side. Now the other side is going to be a little more complicated. Um, we are going to have a resistor, a 10K resistor, going to ground. Okay, this is going to be a pull down to ground resistor. And then also connected on this side, we're going to go to digital pin 2 on the Arduino. So whenever the button is not depressed, then pin 2 will be getting pulled to ground via the, through this 10K resistor. And the reason we use this 10K resistor is so that whenever we do press this button down, the 5 volts flows to pin 2. It doesn't go this way because it's going to follow the path of least resistance, or at least that's the way I understand it. And if there was no resistor here, yeah, it would pull it to ground when the button's not pressed down. But if there's no resistor here, whenever we push the button down, the 5 volts would just go dead short to ground. <laughs> that's exactly where it would go. So you put the 10K resistor in there to make the 5 volts flow into pin 2 instead of going short to ground. So I hope I'm explaining that uh, good enough for, for the purposes of this discussion. I hope so. But like I said, if you want to know more about that, I linked a video down below uh, that does a much better job of explaining pull up and pull down resistors than I could because I'm not an engineer. So we have this, this is what we have. And this is uh, according to this drawing, basically you see on the left side of the button, I have five volts going into it from the Arduino. And then on the right side, you saw pin two. Well, this yellow lead is going up to pin two. Oh, you know what? I have that on the wrong side. I need to put this, actually, I was about to make a mistake. I need to put this on the other side of the resistor. There we go. It needs to be on this, coming right off the button. I had it going through the resistor. That wouldn't have worked. So now we have exactly what I drew up here. And then we have the resistor. This is a 10K resistor going to ground hooked up to the ground on the Arduino. So our button should be ready to go and we should be able to do a digital read on pin two uh, to find out if the button is pressed. And if the button is not pressed, we should be reading a logical low because it's, being, uh, it's going to ground through the resistor. If the button is pressed, then it's gonna complete the circuit and it's gonna bring five volts to digital pin two. So we should read a logic high on that pin when the button is pressed. So now we need to hook up our LED. Okay, I'm gonna use my little simulated napkin here. So a uh, button is pin two. And we're gonna make LED pin, what are we gonna use? It doesn't really matter. And make it whatever we like we'll make it pin uh let's make it pin 12 just for the heck of it so let's go ahead and hook that up now just writing it down whenever we go to write the code just so i don't have to look at the board so we'll start with we'll start with a resistor here and we'll go across and this is a hundred so 100 or 150 ohm i can't remember which doesn't matter there we go well it does matter but either one will work for our purposes so I have that bridging across here and one side is going to have to hook up to ground let me get a black jumper we'll go to ground with uh, we'll go to ground with this side here 
Okay, I have a free ground pin right here. We could have stole the ground over here, but I'm gonna just hook it up on the Arduino board. And then we're gonna take the short leg, of course, is gonna hook up to the ground side. Duke. Oh wait, that's the busted resistor actually. I mean busted LED. <laughs> Already broke that one. Good thing this stuff is cheap, right? Alright. And then so now we need to hook this side of the uh LED up to pin 12. So I'm gonna use a little bit longer. I'm gonna use a blue one. I've been using yellow for the for that, but we'll go blue this time over to pin 12. Okay, so we should be all hooked up. And now what I want to happen, I want to hit this button and light this LED. And there's some other things that we could talk about later with buttons as far as debouncing, but we're not gonna talk about that in this video. We're gonna keep this nice and simple. So let's go ahead and look at some code. All right, here we go with a little code now. Uh, I have the Arduino IDE open. And why reinvent the wheel? There's already a program. If you look, uh, if you go to open on your Arduino IDE and you go to, I think it's under digital, it's this button sketch. So we're just gonna take a look at that. We might have to change something. We might have to change some pins. Um, let's look at the code. Con these are constants and they are constants in the program because they're declared uh, up above the setup function. Anything that's declared up here, um, these, I, I shouldn't say, uh, I shouldn't say constant, I should say global. Anything declared above the setup function is global in scope. So um, let's take a look. Constants won't change, they're used here to set pin numbers. So. These are not variables, these are constants. They won't change in the program. So constant button pin um, is two. And actually, luck luckily enough, uh, I'm zoomed in here, button pin is two. Um, now this has LED pin as 13. We are actually using 12. So we'll just change the code rather than move our button. Okay, variables that will change int button state equals zero variable for reading the push button status okay fair enough now we're going to initialize the two le the two uh digital pins the using pin mode the led pin is going to be an output so this is outputting to the led the button pin is going to be an input since it's a input to the you know reading the button state so now we're into the loop button state equals and then it does a digital read of the button pin and that's going to return either a high or a low because it's a digital read it's all either one of those two states and now there's an if statement if button state is equal to high then it digital writes led pin high okay if the button is so that basically means the way we're configured the button is pressed it will read high and then it will light up the LED. Otherwise, it's gonna write low to that LED pin. And if it was on before, it'll get turned off. So we'll do a quick check. It should be good because it's part of the uh, IDE. And then we'll upload. And hopefully the LED is not on to begin with. Okay, and whenever we press the button, cross your fingers, Whenever we press the button, uh, it should light up. And it does. So there. We are reading the button. It's low, so this is off. And then we press it. And that if, if then statement um, kicks into gear and it writes high to the LED pin. So everything is working fine. That is about the most simple button we can make right here. And uh, Again, I remind you, if you want to know more about the pull-up or pull-down, um, check out the link below. I think this guy does the best job I've seen of someone explaining it. So, hopefully you got a little something out of this, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.